Fear is standing in the way of your success. Stay tuned as I'll tell you why and how you can overcome it. Hello YouTube, my name is Alston and welcome to my channel. This channel is all about helping you find the success that you're looking for online. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell if you want to learn different ways to find success online. As I mentioned in the opener, fear is standing in the way of your success. Let me just paint a quick picture for you uh, about what I went through and what I go, th go through from time to time with fear. Um, we fear the unknown. We fear what's going to happen. We fear what might not happen. Um, I know that when I started looking at making business, making money online, it was based out of fear. It was a fear of not having enough money to provide for my family. I had recently found out that I was going to have twins, and with the cost of, with the cost of everything always going up, um, I, I worried about not having enough money and having to move out of my house and lose cars and all of that stuff. Um, so there, there was a fear there. That fear actually was kind of a good thing because it motivated me to start looking for different ways to make money online. The, the second way that I actually ran into fear was when I start, started creating YouTube videos, when I started creating content online. I had this fear, I had this worry, I had this frustration that maybe someone on the internet would not like it. Someone would give me a negative response. Someone would tell me that this content sucks. Maybe they, they don't like the way that I talk. Maybe they don't like the way that I look. Maybe they don't like the way that I think. I had this fear that, hey, maybe if I just stay in my corner and stay small, nobody will nobody will attack me. Nobody will think that his content sucks because I'll just I'll just stay small. I'll just stay in this little bubble and if I only get maybe a hundred or a thousand subscribers, that'll be good enough. And then eventually your, your fear will shift to something else. Well, maybe you, you start to fear, hey, maybe I'm, not, um, maybe I'm not providing good enough content. Maybe I, I'm not getting subscribers. Maybe nobody likes me. Maybe whatever. There's just fear. Maybe that fear sometimes is spurred by what, someone, what something someone says. Someone posted on one of my comments that, hey, you make a lot of videos, but your videos don't get any views, so you should stop making videos. Well, that's counterintuitive because that person found me on the videos that I created. So it means that it's working. Anyway, continuing on, uh, there's a fear. Maybe maybe this just isn't, isn't right for me. You're going to have fear because you've never done it before. People that get on the road and they drive, they eventually become bad drivers because there's that, there isn't that fear uh, of driving. When you first get on the road, when you're 16 or 15 or 14 like I was, and you start driving for the first time, you're fearful. You're holding on to the, the wheel, with, wheel with dear life because you don't know what's going to happen. You don't know how the car is going to respond when you push that accelerator. You don't know how hard the car is going to jerk back when you brake. There's that fear there. But eventually, you, you learn how to drive and you become confident. Maybe you, you take one arm off the wheel. Maybe you start driving with your knees because you're eating and you're talking to your cell phone. That fear is gone and you evolve into a bad driver because you no longer have that fear. Now, that actually will happen in anything that you have never done before. If you've never made a dollar online, you have a fear that you'll never make a dollar and that's simply not the case if you if you put in constant action you put in work eventually you'll make a dollar uh, it may not happen as fast as you want because we want things to happen instantaneously we want things to happen today and yesterday and not tomorrow but you will make a dollar online if you if you punch in what I like to call it, you like to punch in you go to work and and you execute It'll happen. You, for me, I get that fear. Hey, I'm I'm not gonna get ever get to uh, 200 subscribers because it took me x uh, it took me six months to get to 100 subscribers. When in reality, uh, it's that fear because I had never done it before. That fear had led me to um, checking my my analytics hourly or, or or constantly. My that fear had me taking away taking a look at how I did everything and and trying to analyze. I, I changed my thumbnails. I changed my um, I, I changed my presentation. I've changed my delivery. I've changed things multiple times because I have never done it before. Because I had never gotten to a hundred subscribers, I never connected with a hundred people. I never had a hundred people tune in to listen to what I had to say. I thought that it would never happen. It was that fear that we created in our own mind. Um, I knew that in the. I, I knew somewhere in my mind that if I went to work, I put in constant work, I put in constant effort. Eventually, I'd get to where I wanted to go. And my my initial goal was. 100 subscribers. My new goal is now a thousand subscribers. So if you haven't done so already, make sure that you you subscribe right now and you comment. But that fear 
because I had never gotten to 100 before was what was was driving me to take a look at some of those other things. Um, fear can either motivate you or it can demotivate you. And it's really how you determine and how you decide to get back on track. If you can either, uh, like I did, I, I had this fear of getting to 100 subscribers. And I said, man, I'll never get to 100 subscribers. I could have either stopped making YouTube videos at that very moment or I could have gone back and said, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to I'm going to take a look at my analytics. I'm going to maybe redo my thumbnails. My thumbnails have probably changed three or four times in, in the last few months. I'm going to go back and do better keyword research to try and figure out what people want to know and and, and find out keywords that I I can target and that uh, people that I can actually rank for and maybe find find traction. I'm going to go back and I'm going to start commenting on Quora so that people will find me, see that I provide valuable content, and possibly. Uh, follow me over on YouTube. Fear can either motivate you or it can be your downfall. You have to decide every minute, every day, what you're going to let fear do. Uh, because there, there's fear in everything. Um, is your job going to be there tomorrow? Are you going to be able to make money online? Are you are, are you going to get into a car accident? There's fear, inherent fear in every single thing that we do every single day of our lives. It's just it's how we interpret that fear and how we use it to potentially motivate us. So what we need to do going into this week is we need to uh, look at our fear and look and see if it if it's uh, perceived or if it's if it's a regular rational fear and how we can take that fear, interpret it, and use it to energize and fuel our week, our day, our month. That's what we need to do. That's what I need to do. That's my goal going forward for this week. Take that fear of, of, of not reaching that person that I know that I can help and find a way to use it as motivation to get better. Maybe I need to redo my thumbnails one more time. Maybe I need to change my delivery one more time. Maybe I need to uh, create two YouTube videos per week because maybe maybe that's the issue. Maybe I'm not doing the right keyword research to find the audience to provide the assistance that I know that I can provide. If you watch any of my other YouTube videos, I feel like I provide a great amount of assistance to help people find the success that they're looking for online. That's my my goal. People that want to make money online, I want to be able to help you uh, get over that fear, get over that frustration, give you that boost that you need so that you can get started and you can be that level of success that you're looking for. I want to take my fear, I want to take your fear, I want to take our fear and use it as energy to grow our business, to grow our success, and to make ourselves happier, to make our lives happier, to make our families happier. That's what it's all about for me this week, is taking the fear that I wake up with, uh, whether it's my my views, my subscribers, um, even when I'm creating a YouTube video. Right now, there's fear right now that, hey, I'm going to kick this light down with my foot. There's fear that uh, nobody will see this video. But it, it, in, in reality, I'm making this video in, in hopes to help myself out, which will in turn will help you out. So make sure that you check out some of my other videos. If you want to find out different ways to make money online, I want you to, that your goal for this week is to take the fear that you have, whatever it is, um, it, it could be your job could be on the line. They could be outsourcing your job to um, a different country. It could be outsourcing your job to a different state. Uh, maybe you you haven't made your first dollar on, online. Maybe you haven't figured out how to scale your business online. Take that fear and motivate you to take some action. Take a positive step towards your goal. If you have a goal of making $10,000 a month, take a positive step, and you should know what that step is, whether it's more content, maybe it's uh, affiliate marketing, maybe it's email marketing. You need to figure out what that step is and use fear to drive that step. You wanna make sure that you're taking a rational step, a logical step, so that you can find the success that you're looking for in a week from now, in a month from now, in a year from now. Once again, my name is Austin. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.